I am using some jalapenos, cream cheese, any type of your choosing. I am using beef ham. You could use pork ham, but I'm trying to do a little less fat in this poppers. I am using some mozzarella cheese. This is low moisture pat skim. I am using some turkey bacon. As I said, I am doing less fat, a more healthier version. So I'm going to remove all of the seeds and make sure all the membrane is properly well removed. If you know you cannot handle too much heat, please use our gloves. And once all is removed, we are going to start to put our poppers together. All has been removed, all the membranes, the seeds and everything has been removed. So now I'm going to add the mozzarella as i mentioned it's a low moisture pat skim then i am going to add my ham i am using beef ham as i mentioned you can use pork or any ham that is full of fat and as i also mentioned i am using turkey bacon that is also less fat so you can also use a uh, pork bacon and i am going to continue this with two and the other two i am just going to use cream cheese and i am going to wrap it i won't be using the mozzarella in the other two just the cream cheese and the ham and the bacon okay, so while you have seen kamiko in our video she just had to pop in because she saw the flip, the flip screen on the camera on so she's just looking at herself <laughs> Oh, she's too sweet. So as we continue with the last two, we are going to do another method where I'm just going to use pork ham, not pork bacon, but just pork ham in a next method in which I make my jalapeno poppers. But before we get to that, click the bell for new video. This is what we just made, two with the mozzarella, two with just cream cheese, but all has the ham in it. So the other method in which I'm going to make would just be with the cream cheese, no mozzarella, and the ham. So this is what it looks like after it stayed in the oven for 26 minutes exactly. And it was really good. It was really enjoyable. So you can add any type of seasoning. You could also add some paprika or some cayenne pepper over the cheese before you wrap it. It's really good because I tried that in the other method which is coming up now as you're seeing on your screen. I put the cream cheese and I sprinkle some paprika and I use some pork ham over it. I am not going to wrap it but before we continue. <laughs> It's ready for the oven. The oven has been preheating and I'm going to place it for the same time, 26 minutes. And this also is really, really nice. If you don't want your ham to crispy like I like my ham, then you don't have to leave it for so long. But give this quick demo of my jalapeno peppers a try. Thank you.